Hello everyone. I am but an awkward com Oh my trousers! Girl, I'm still in my fucking New Year's grind and I gotta realize that it's not time to wear certain clothes yet. You ain't got down to that way, okay? So, ooh. Mm. But anyhow, I'm but an awkward comrade. I welcome you all to subscribe. Queens, peens, and everything in between. So let's get into it. We get time to get into it because, bay, bay, y'all know this bitch be clocking me. So, with that being said, though, I welcome all to subscribe and support me and my androgynous brand that I hope to develop. And as this channel grows, etc., it will mean so much. Follow, feel free to follow me on Twitter. You know, support my fan service for your freaky freaks out there. And let's get into it. We'll get time to get into it. So, bay, bay. I want to continue a little bit with some of my ooh, autistic interest and bringing up some topics that don't get spoken about a lot. So for me, I've always wondered this and it, and it makes a lot of sense why I would, you know, um, given that a lot of people with autism, let me just get into it. Okay. So hyper fixation and fetishes. Um, I believe when it comes to autism, for some people, I'm not saying all, as an autistic, gay individual, um, I have specific kinks, interest, but before I even came out and before I knew that I was gay, um, these had always been a thing for as far back as I can remember. I'm talking when I was, um, when I before I learned about co a lot of common sense stuff, etc. So, um, for an example, I've always been attracted to the idea of no pants day, if you all know what I mean, which is basically, um, it's a thing that developed more in recent years, but it's mostly goes on in New York and like London, where a massive group of pedestrians will aboard the public transit and trow and without their trousers rock out with their junk out in the form of just underwear panties thongs whatever you want to call them lingerie it's so hot to me and i love the idea of just having that level of freedom like me i like i tend to man spread a lot and um, that has helped me in comp in a, a bit in confidence and being more comfortable with um, um, exerting more feelings of openness and feeling a bit more um, confident and um, important as a person. Um, it, it's helped me um, feel, be more approachable. It's helped me feel um, a tad extroverted as an introverted person. So um, I love, you know, for as back, far back as I can remember, I've always been attracted to the idea of just feeling free, being you unapologetically, and just um, embracing what it is that makes you distinct as a person, and just letting, um, you know, just doing that to the best of your ability. And I'd say, like, with underwear, at least, there's just this hotness where it's like there's just a thin cloth between you and freedom and that's where it stops and you're free to just let that be known that hey um aside from just feeling attractive in that regard you're willing to just kind of let that level of comfortability out there in the open letting people know about that and that's what i've always kind of loved about it and um for me um, I've always just been attracted to the idea of the no pants day where it's just a bunch of adults aborting the butt, the transit stations, or maybe a whole day where just a lot of us adults just do that or um, whatnot. And yes, we're admiring um, all that good stuff, but ultimately um, it's just on display and that fixated aspect of it has just always become like a kink for me. Um, I love the idea of even nude wrestling, stuff like that. It's just like this idea of feeling free, comfortable, and hot and horny at the same time, whilst um, not outright stating it, but sharing that shared thought 
with the next person. So um, another thing that I'm pretty, that I would say for me, like I've had some like fetishes like that since as far back as I can remember. And I realized that the hyper fixation about it was really what kind of gave me a bit of like, oh, this could be a, a bit of a mix between my quirky interest and just having autism. So another one for me, I would say is, um, hmm, physical contact. Um, now, when it comes to physical contact, I specifically have this fetish for footsies and feet flirting. Now, growing up, um, I, it was very difficult for me to connect with people, and sometimes I would be seated right next to someone that I had a crush on, and his leg would be up against mine, and it didn't seem like he really noticed because he would maybe mistake that for the part of the chair or whatnot. But then it's like I'm having the time of my life. My, you know, I'm growing inside my pants, but my pants are too tight to let it, you know, show. And I don't know, it's like this sign of flirting where it's like, hey, we're flirting. It, it, maybe it's happening un, unnow or unnoticed, but I mean, there's that, you know, attraction there. So um, that's another just a thing of like, specifically when it comes to flirting, like footsies is like a powerful one. And it's just always this fixation of just, it could be happening you don't even notice it, but you could just be in your head enjoying the moment. And um, there's that. Um, but yeah, on another note, I feel like, cause I want to do like a whole series on this. Um, what people often mistake is they think that, oh, this has anything to do with um, the negatives. And if you know what I mean by the negatives, um, the extremes to things where people, um, and I wouldn't say that it has anything to do with that. In my mind, at least, it has. It, it it is. I prefer when people are on the same page with things. I don't. I'm not a fan of um, one sided attraction. I'm not a fan of. Um, sometimes that can kill it for me. And so, um, yeah, that's why for me, at least, um, sometimes you not voicing it is still. You know, there's that, but. Um, I feel like people, when it comes to these like fixations, when it comes to autism, um, what we have as autistic people have to stray away from is, um, and this doesn't apply to everyone, literally it doesn't, um, it has to do with don't fall into the trap of being so attached to your turn on or fetish that you will go to any length to make it happen. Because we as autistic people, sometimes we get so obsessed with the things we're into that it becomes like we want to man do everything we can to manifest that reality. And what I'm saying by that is don't, I've personally not fallen into this trap, which is good. Um, but I had to stop myself once where, um, what would I say? Um, I don't think I've actually ever really gone too far with it because I've always known in my mind that the world just doesn't understand certain things. Like me walking around in underwear, I would never do that unless I was at like a pride parade where it's like I already have that feeling of freedom and there's that. But I would never do that just randomly. You know what I mean? Like sometimes when people are so obsessed with their fetishes, I feel like they'll go to any length. It's like when people, let me give you an example, um, because there's just so many, I'm like fishing my brain for them. When people, I'll give you an example, they, they will, there's this one fetish where people are like obsessed with like looking hot or flashing for a pizza delivery person. That to me is a bit of a problematic fetish if the person isn't in on it. You know, if, it, if it's like a person, you know, oh, I'm delivering to this hot, sexy neighbor and I know he's going to come out of nothing but his bathrobe. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You know, there's that. But um, <laughs> if you're going out on a limb and you're doing this to, like, complete strangers, that's a fetish where I feel like it's just a hyper fixation that people find really hot. 
and sometimes you'll attribute that to where it can come, but have links and limits to that. And your length and limit should stop where it becomes illegal or could get you in trouble. That's what I gotta say. And sometimes um, when you are an autistic person, sometimes you kinda tune out a lot of things when it comes to your interests. Like I'll be doing my art all day and sometimes I lose a sense of time. I realized like, oh my God, two years has passed and I've been so obsessed with like my interest in taking my mind off the stress that I'm going through with, which is not really getting far in my life that, oh wow, two whole years passed and it felt like a day um, because I was so caught up in my interest and um, painting and video gaming and um, porn that you kind of just turn off everything around you and hyper thick say. So that for me is when I, when I speak about autism, oh damn these trousers, I love them to death, but girl, I'm telling you, I gotta augment these babe. I gotta augment this when, <laughs> when I lose my weight. And, and good news, I've lost five pounds already. I just got back from the doctor. It's only been two weeks, so that's good. So um, we got to augment a little bit and adjust to fit certain things. But I would say that um, you do want that point where you just kind of let loose. Um, but yeah, for me, at least I would just say, know your limits. Don't get in a place where you, you feel honestly, like you're so obsessed with your interests that it's like taking over you. Don't let your obsessions consume or direct you. But ultimately, do find ways to find your satisfaction as, lo as long as they're safe. And that's what I want people to know because sometimes we tend to be so obsessed with our interests that we kind of shut off everything around us. So yeah, um, make sure it's safe. Make sure you're doing the right things. And um, yeah, just a little interesting topic about hyperfixation fetishes when it comes to autism. I'm definitely gonna expand on this topic going forward. I don't want anyone to, to think that this has anything to do. And I'm a little tiptoeing around a topic where there's, there's some behavior which is um, where, where you can get in trouble. Like, let me give you an example. Some people are exhibitionist. Um, I understand the fetish. Um, I found it really hot at some point, but I realized, hey, unless you're in like a nude bike parade or whatnot, or you have a bunch of people that you can role play with, a bunch of people your age and your environment, like or your house or whatever, or whatever, do not take this to the public where it could get you in trouble. That's all I'm saying. Um, because like I said, with autism, ultimately, this is not strictly an autistic thing, but it can, it, in a way it can be, um, with some autism, with, with autism at times is where in general you become so hyper fixated in something that that thing, um, you want it so bad that you will go to, you'll kind of just shut off everything and just really want, like just kind of push for that. And all I'm saying is when it comes to those interests, it comes to those kinks, do have a limit and do know what is what would get you in trouble and avoid that okay find a way to get your satisfaction without the need of getting in legal trouble in, in legal trouble is all i'm saying so with that being said though um a little informative video for the day i'm but an awkward comrade welcome you all to subscribe queens pains and everything in between i'll see you all on the next one good night